Align and Vibe World, Align and Vibe World. <laughs> Welcome back to all of my returning subscribers and viewers. Welcome if this is your first time coming. Um, everybody be around here talking about people being woke. Everybody waking up or not. You know, they ain't woke. They still sleep. They ain't woke up. I'm woke. Woo, 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 right? Like everybody on this whole wake up thing going on. Um. In this video, I'm about to give y'all some things that are bound to happen in people that are waking up. You know, either if you haven't woken up yet, you're going to experience these things that I'm going to talk to you about. And if you already have woken up, let them know in the comments that I that this is real, like real deal, holy field, right? <laughs> like no bullshit. This is good game that I'm giving, right? Um they are not going to happen in no particular order like say oh this is what happens first this is what happens second and so on and so forth no that is not how this goes this is just some of the things that i've experienced and that i've watched other people experience so make sure you stick around to the end because i'm definitely gonna say the most impactful one uh heartwarming the most touching one <laughs> until the end all right um Anyway, I'm Fats, and this is a channel where you can come for all of your alignment and awareness purposes. At no time do you take what I say as your truth. Make sure that you are always listening to and following your own intuition, and make sure you are always willing to do your own research. And if anything does resonate with you from this channel, do, do us all a favor and just pay it forward. Just pay it forward, because if you reach one, teach two, right? Pay it forward. <laughs> and thanks in advance let's go ahead and get into it right uh let's get back to the whole wake up thing again if i leave anything out don't hesitate to add what you need to add or don't hesitate to correct where you may feel like i'm wrong or for lack of better words because nobody's right nobody's wrong it just depends on the experiences that we have um so, so one of the first things that i know for sure happen to people when they start to wake up is they become disconnected. They become disconnected with their situations, their circumstances, their surroundings. Some more, most times they become disconnected with themselves. Um, they start to disconnect from everything that they're used to, you know, from the usual. They disconnect from the usual. And in return, they start to connect to their essential, like all the essential things that they really need in life. Not the people, not the nice clothes and the nice shoes and stuff like that. No, you need like self-love, self-awareness, like peace, um, a sound mind and things like that. All of that stuff starts to come together when you start to detach yourself from the things that have been or are distracting you. Let me add a little sidebar because this can lead into a whole totally different conversation. But pay attention, y'all. Like, I know that y'all have heard people say everything happens for a reason. And some people live by it. Some people believe it and some people don't. Um, there is something called universal law. And the concept of everything happens for a reason comes from one of those universal laws. So... You got to understand that everything happens for a reason. There is some truth to it, regardless of if you want to believe it or not. Everybody. But anyway, like I said, that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> and we ain't going to get into that right now because we're talking about people and how they know when they've woken up or when you can tell if somebody wakes up. But yes, so they become disconnected from their situations and their people. Say, for instance, um, they stop fitting in. They start fitting in with the crowd. They start fitting in with the people. They start fitting in at the functions. They just stop fitting in. And that's what it seems like to the person that's going through it. It'd be like, mm, I ain't even rocking. Like, I ain't feeling this no more. Or I could be doing something better with my time. Not to say, oh, I think I'm better than the people that I've been around. Maybe they might start acting funny. Maybe y'all energies just no longer match, right? And that. People have reasons and seasons. We be saying all of these things and we be posting all of these memes, but do we really take heed to the shit that we be saying or the things that come across our path? You understand what I'm saying? They may start setting certain boundaries like um, if somebody always call your phone, we like, 
Hey, bitch. Ah, right? <laughs> Somebody always call your phone like, hey, nigga. Woo, woo, woo. Or, you know, just like aggressive or loud or rah-rah or unnecessary. They call your phone with this unnecessary energy. Um, people might start to be like, listen, don't call my phone with all that. And you got to respect it. Like, don't call my phone with all that. And they might be like, dang, what's wrong with you? Nothing's not wrong. I just don't got time. I don't, don't want to hear all that. Girl, I'll call your phone like this every day. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. Nobody got time for that loud ass shit on somebody's ear all the time. Like, be considerate. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, um, so yes, they become disconnected, they start to set boundaries, and they start to be like real protective of their peace. They don't want to be in drama, they don't want to hear about the drama, they don't want to hear about who got into it or who said what about who, like all that stuff becomes irrelevant once you start to wake up because you know that there's something bigger than all of that, like there is a bigger issue at hand and... That definitely ain't it, okay? <laughs> that definitely ain't it. Um, I'm only giving y'all like surface uh, examples that's popping up. These situations can go from being super duper minor, okay? They can go from being like extremely minor issues to some shit being like super major. Everybody got their own things to go through and we're all interconnected. So the question should be like, when you experience something or you got to question something that you see, you should get the question of like, why am I experiencing this? Like what this, what type of lesson or what am I supposed to be learning in this? Or what am I supposed to be gathering out of this situation? So on and so forth. Does that make sense? Like stop putting, y'all better be careful. Stop putting y'all mouth on people but verbally and spiritually. You might want to be just a little bit more careful than you have been because our minds and our tongues are powerful things, right? Your tongue, you, uh, the tongue is a powerful thing. The tongue is a powerful thing. I didn't know what it meant then, but as I continue to grow older, you, you are absolutely right that the tongue is an extremely powerful thing. So y'all make sure y'all be careful. Watch y'all language and watch how y'all putting y'all mouth on people. Watch how y'all speaking of y'all selves too. Be mindful. Moral of this part of the story is in order to wake up or when people wake up, they start to disconnect from their old ways. They start to disconnect from their old ways of living, the old people, their old habits, and they start to figure out what's really best for them, like really on some new shit. If you can't disconnect from the old, you're not making room for something else to be able to come in or grow. Be mindful, regardless of what societal images or illusions that you know, the world around us have in place. You don't have to live up to the world's standards. You have to know what you want, what's right and what's wrong to you or for you. And you got to align yourself with that and you got to live to and with that. You got boundaries. That's just like if you go to a fast food place and you don't want something on your burger, you're going to tell them that you don't want something on your burger, right? Right? And if you don't, then you have to understand that it's going to be your responsibility to remove whatever was placed on there. Does that make sense? Even though you, you didn't tell them, now you have to go and remove it. And now you're a little bit more agitated because <sighs> become disconnected in order to get connected. And you can fight it as long as you want to. No matter how long you try to fight it, regardless of what steps you take to continuously try to fight it, it has to happen. Just let it happen. Stop fighting it. Y'all got to understand these boundaries are going to be set. Other people are setting boundaries, so you make sure that you are setting your boundaries as well. You can't leave your, you can't leave your happiness in the hands of somebody else. And if you don't set boundaries, that's exactly what you're doing. You know, and that all has to deal with protecting their peace. There are those people who are homebodies. There's people who don't like to go too many places or be around too many people. You know, they'll rather be like, no, I'm cool. I'd rather not, right? Maybe they woke up. Maybe they're waking up. Maybe they just need some alone time. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? You wouldn't even care if you were awake. If you were woke up, or however I'm supposed to say it, 
you wouldn't even care about why, you know, they do or don't want to go. It would just be like, oh, okay, I did my part. I asked, boop, the rest of that shit is out of here. As long as you do what you got to do, there is nothing else that you need to be worried about, I guess. I don't know. So, sum that all up. Being disconnected was the first thing that I wanted to let y'all know um, that happens to people when they start to wake up or when they have woken up. They become disconnected to the shit that they were used to. Um, another thing that happens <laughs> when people start to wake up, they become more empathetic. I was going to say for lack of better words, but I think that was good enough um, to think people, things and situations, like especially the fake love. They will sense the fake love, like the discernment of a person who is waking up is like ineffable, damn near in inexplainable um, for me to describe it to y'all. But the fake love, like you, it, no matter where it comes from, you're going to be like, mm, nah. you ain't even got to voice it. Your spirit is going to tell you when some stuff ain't right. Like when shit ain't sitting well, your spirit is going to let you know. And that's a part of that discernment. That's a part of being aware. That's a part of being focused on yourself, right? Your own personal awareness will, will eventually allow you to become aware of other people's emotions. I am huge on body language. I am huge on energy. So all of these things collectively add up. People, people will start to see things for what they really are. They will start to see people for who they really are. And there's not going to be nothing that you can do about it or nothing that they can do about it. They're going to be trying to be like, mm, blind to it, you know, have the veil over their eyes. But it's going to be like, Tsh, dash and water in your face. Uh-uh, open your eyes. You can see what's going on. Don't try to hide yourself. <laughs> don't try to act like you don't know what's going on. Yeah, you know. You very much aware of what's going on. Okay? Do y'all understand me? Like, if y'all understand what I'm saying thus far, go ahead and like. Go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and comment if you need to. If you want to add, if you want to elaborate, if you want to justify, I don't know. Whatever you choose that you need or want to do, go ahead and do it. Um, make sure y'all subscribe. Um, the next thing that I want to address and the most impactful to me, in my opinion, is when people start waking up, they start to wake up. Okay, when people say, when people start to wake up, that is them becoming more conscious of things that are going on around them. When people start to wake up, to me, they really start to wake up. They really stop like sleeping on themselves. They become more in tune with who they really are. They become the shit. They be, you know, they, they discover all these unique um, capabilities. They discover... They discover all these things that make them so dope and so unique. Like, they just wake up. They wake up. Like, the alarm goes off. And they start to do the things that make them happy. Right? And this is the message for everybody. I don't care who you are. Stop settling for what don't sit well with you. Like, if you know for a fact that you want something better, there is no need for you to think like, oh, okay, I'm just supposed to have this. There is no need for you to be like, okay, this is what I deserve. Like, no, you deserve exactly what you want. And if you don't feel like you deserve it, if you want it, you need to align yourself once again to get to where you're trying to go. Um, don't let society make you feel like, oh, you know, that ain't how that's supposed to be or you know, if anything in your situation is going to be frowned upon, you need to move for you. Stop worrying about anything outside of what's going on with you. If it has nothing really to do with you, if that makes sense. At the end of the day, quit being hard on yourself. Quit being so hard on yourself. Like, quit being so hard on yourself. It's hella people out here. They don't even know what they want in life because they're so busy trying to please other people or make everybody else happy. Stop. Stop being so used to what you're used to. Stop being so used to being taken advantage of. Just stop. 
try some different shit. Like, try some different shit. And I guarantee you, something has to work. If whatever you've been doing thus far has not been working thus far, then you need to try something different that's going to work for you. You're the only person responsible for your happiness. So you need to be responsible for your happiness. The kids can't make you happy. Your boo ain't going to make you happy. This is all a trained way of thinking. Like we are so dependent on outside sources and situations. Failing to realize that we all are here to become better for ourselves. Not nobody else. Not nobody else. So if you know that you are not at your best and there is something that you can change, um, mind y'all. Let me tell y'all, if you got 30 people telling you you got a bad attitude and you don't think it's you, maybe it's the way that you deliver your message. Maybe they just don't understand, you know, maybe they don't understand how you're trying to say it because of the vocabulary that you're using. It can be anything. Just keep an open mind. Just keep an open mind that you need to be working on you. And again, it's not for other people. But if you don't like people telling you that you have a bad attitude, it's not to please them, but it's to change you. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You have you might have a bad attitude and just because people are telling you, you got a bad attitude, you got a bad attitude. You don't have to be like, oh, well, I'm not changing my attitude for nobody. That's probably that higher power trying to get your attention to say, like, maybe you need to change your attitude. Because if you don't like it, when people address the fact that you have a bad attitude, that's where that's why you would feel like you need to change it. Not because they're saying it, but because it makes you feel some type of way when it's said. Does that make sense? I think I think I got that part right. I think that made a little bit more sense than what I was trying to say initially. So yeah, stop being so used to what you're used to. Like, try something different. <laughs> try something different. Like being the person that you used to be before the world got a hold of you and corrupted your mind and your emotions and made you feel like, ugh, right? Do something that gets you back to being happy. If you don't want to do something, Baby, don't do it. Don't do it because the moment that you say, the moment you go against yourself is the moment that everything else starts to go wrong. Pay attention. Pay attention to your life in particular and tell me that when you go against yourself and you do things that you did not want to do, like that you don't want to do, don't things go wrong. Let me know. You ain't got to come back. Tell me now. Shoot me an email or something, but you, let me know. Let me know. Understand that life gives us chance after chance after chance to get our shit right. Some of us don't have all of these chances, right? And use your time wisely. Do what works best for you. Be happy. Make it, Find a way to be happy. Be happy. Like genuinely happy, sincerely happy. Not because you're trying to keep up with the Joneses and... Head out to ten buck too. No. Some people don't get the ultimate chance. They they end up getting wiped out, wasting their chances. So it's like if you always see yourself or feel like you are always caught up in a bullshit or in an unfortunate situation or circumstance, it's time for you to get your your shit together, boo. It's time for you to start figuring out what you're going to do or how can you become better for you in your situation, right? Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, I hope y'all understand or I hope y'all realize some of the things that are happening to people, like some of the things that people are dealing with, some of the things that you might be ending up, you know, some of the things that you may be dealing with really, really soon if you ain't already started your awakening journey yet. Um, but make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, uh, engage, right? Pay it forward. And I love y'all and I will talk to y'all later. And if you don't understand the whole being woke lingo, go ahead and uh, hit me up and let me know. And I will be glad to 
lead you or point you in the right direction so that you can start to educate yourself and maybe wake up or not. <laughs>